Don't you think about it. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Time to do the 100 coin star. And as per tradition, gonna collect, select the red coins one so I can be guaranteed to collect them. I'm not really sure where I should start here because there's coins... They're all like in groups in this level, but there's coins everywhere around this level, but all like around the edges and stuff like that, so I guess I'll start from one side and work my way down in like some sort of spiral of sorts. Like you see there's a couple of coins around the perimeter, there's coins where these rings are. I'll be back for the other coins in that ring, but yeah, I think you get what I mean here and that there's uh, quite the abundance and they're all, that, it, all in, don't pull me to the hole, it's actually uh, pulling me to the hole, you know that vortex, or I mean whirlpool in the center, I need a Pokemon with whirlpool, that would be very nice, <laughs> um, I guess I shouldn't say that it's tradition totally to always select the red coin star for me because I did uh, select the fifth star in lethal lava land so I could get that shell but that was more of a strategic decision than anything um, like it, it wasn't aiming just to break tradition for the sake of breaking tradition it was to make sure that I would be able to uh, get as many coins as I could as easily as I could which uh, I definitely recommend doing that because of the uh, shell, as I said before. Dang it. Let me go. No, Mario. There we go. Not sure if I got all of them on that side, but I'm pretty sure I did. I mean, uh, you know, on this, this side of the pool. Because, you know, there's two sections to this level, and yeah. I'm just going to take one quick little gander. Just to be sure while avoiding the Whirlpool of Doom. Mm, yeah, there's nothing in those chests. I mean, it looks like there could be something in those chests because they're treasure chests, but no. All they contain is air, except for one which has a star. But stars have no monetary value and therefore will not increase my coin total. Alas. <laughs> well, anyway, I got 42 coins. There's uh, quite a few coins in the next area. Like, there's 30 just from a blue coin switch up on a higher level, and uh, there's only 16 from the red coins. But uh, always gotta make sure not to collect the 100th coin as the um, as a red coin because you will actually glitch a star to a higher location than you can actually jump to. And yeah, you don't want that to happen. And you really can swim through that coral, can't you? Or whatever the heck that is. Maybe it's like hardened seaweed or something. Oh, there's some coins. Just randomly decide to spawn there. Well, I should say load there. That's why I like to uh, swim around the area because the game's draw distance isn't quite as far as uh, later games are. Nothing in there. I, I seen that there was a shell in the other clam, but shells are kind of hard to work with in all honesty when you're when you're looking for uh, a precision. Hmm, okay, let's go up. Hmm, go around. I'm just gonna see. No, no. Hmm, here's five there, but. Just gotta... Oh, by the way, beware of these. Oh, wait, I, never mind. I, I taught you guys those things before back in the uh, uh, Metal Cap Switch area. Don't know why I decided to uh, mention them again, but you know. <laughs> okay, let's, let's take a look around here and... Mm. Wait a second, if I get the, the red coins... Plus the blue ones, that would finish it off, wouldn't it? So I guess that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna get the uh, uh, blue coins last, because as I said, the red coins will glitch a star in a place that you cannot get, so... Yeah, I do not recommend that. Alright, let's go around. And flip the camera just to be safe. Oh, maybe I should have taken the left or Oh, never mind. I'm gonna have to come back through there anyway. Because of the, uh... The way that this works. 
by the way that I'm gonna be doing it, excuse me. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I don't... I do not like these holes, like, when they're like that, because they're kind of tricky to time between each other. Yeah, well, I got the, the main two behind there, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Crisscross, yes! Maybe I should have flipped the camera around rather than using uh, reaction time, but eh, it worked out. Alright, let's switch it around. I should be able to, like, yep, go back safely. Actually, come to think of it, maybe I should have jumped in the water. <laughs> because I still have to get those, those coins on the other path, which I thought I would have uh, jumped in the water by now. Man, <laughs> my planning... And playing here is not the best. Nope. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, going back up. Damn. There we go. Uh, I gotta watch the red coin perspective issue. I think this should be a decent angle for getting them. Yeah. And this is basically a dead end, so, yeah. <laughs> Not even gonna bother with that. See, I'm gonna have uh, 71 coins when I get that last red coin off in the distance there. And then when I go back for the blue coin switch, voila, 100 coins. So... There's a lot of awkward pauses in this video. It's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of like because it's such a slow area. But it's, it's relaxing to go through, so it's, it's still nice. But I mean that there's just not much going on here for me to talk about, except that I'm almost flubbed that. <laughs> okay, I remember those. You gotta switch between front and back. I think this one's gonna be a back one. Yep. Yeah, this one's gonna be one in the front. So I'm not gonna go for that. <laughs> it's a little bit too risky at the moment. I don't, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't want to say it's risky, but it's not worth uh, climbing through here all over again. There we go. And I think I'd rather long jump to this post, in all honesty, from a distance. Just long jumping feels much safer than regular jumping in a lot of circumstances. There we go. That's not the star I'm aiming for, by the way, obviously. That's this star with this blue coin switch will do it. So, slam that. Carefully collect all six of these before the timer runs out. There we go. There's the 100 coin star I was looking for. Woo! And that completes Dire Dire Docks. Yeah. And as long as I'm here, I might as well show you something. Because I'm gonna have to end up exiting this place anyway. Just, just imagine if you didn't know what was behind this hole, you'd be like, Oh, I'm just gonna swim through here, maybe there's another area. Oh, no! I'm outside the castle courtyard! Yeah, that's a pretty mean move by the designers to do that, but... <laughs> but it's there to trap you, I guess. It really makes you think that you're going to another area. And I don't even know how Bowser's sub could escape there. I mean, did you see the size of Bowser's sub? <laughs> I mean, that, that is the hatch that Bowser's sub went through. I mean, even if the sub goes through there, where's, where's the sub gonna go? I mean, it, it, it went somewhere. <laughs> anyway, I am going to be going over to the next world this part, because there's plenty of time left to do so. I'll get you later, don't worry. Then you won't have to worry about running away from me. So, here we go! Shifting Sandland starts now. In the talons of the big bird. The big bird's known as Klepto, actually. Uh, anyway, there, there, there. how'd I do that? <laughs> so there's some fly guys and bombs. It's a, as you would guess, desert world. And uh, yeah, it's probably one of the more annoying worlds, in all honesty. <laughs> um, where is the, where did that pokey go? I want to kill the pokey. Oh, there you are. You can only kill the pokies if you attack its head, and then you'll get a blue coin from it. Uh, there's there's a bunch of stuff to explore around this area, but I, I'm just going to do that gradually like I've been doing all the other stars. Oh, dang it! Well, there goes my crate in the endless quicksand of death. 
Yeah, that quicksand is one hit kill if you end up in there and... Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe those coins will come... Oh, they, <laughs> they actually did come back to me. Well, at least that one did. Um, falling in those sand pits are also instant death. So you gotta be very careful around this area. Um, if you want to have an easier time, you might, you might want to triple jump up here and use the wing cap. Uh, if, but I'd like to just show you around the area. And uh, the shiny shell will allow me to do this a tad easier, actually, because I can go on top of the sand like so without dying. But I'm, I'm not actually going to... Uh, do that just for the sake of showing you how to get past obstacles These right here are tox boxes and they attempt to squish you But they have these vulnerable holes underneath them that allow you to pass right through them um, Oh wait, you're gonna come this way aren't you? Yeah <laughs> Well, you almost came that way um, you gonna Flop over me. Yeah, you are They aren't one hit kill like they are in uh, galaxy, but they are uh, still kind of annoying. You're, you're sometimes better off just shortcutting past them like that. In fact, you're probably better off doing that a lot of times, in all honesty. Uh, there's a cannon in this level, but I don't think... Come on. But I don't think you need this cannon for anything, so I'm just gonna activate it now. It's on the, um... That sandy quicksand area with the tox boxes that I was just past. But I, I don't... I really don't see any use for that cannon. Anyway, the In the Talons of the Big Bird refers to this one right here! Oh, I got it! First try! You gotta jump at Klepto there, and if you get stuck in the sand, you'll eventually pull yourself out. Anyway, there's the first star of the world! Here we go! Yay! Next star starts now! So there's still plenty of time on the camera. <laughs> I should say, plenty of time in the part. Shining atop the pyramid. Uh, let's see, maybe I'll show you what I mean about the wing cap now. Since I show you how to, show you how to get through this place without it. Like if I were to just take the wing cap, you can cheat through a lot of the obstacles just by going through them like this. Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier this way. I'm gonna land here. Just because I'm not exactly sure how much more flight I have in terms of height and speed and stuff like that. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> but my objective here is to go to, as it said, the top of the pyramid. Um, you actually might want to fly up there, in all honesty, because it's kind of tricky to do the platforming. So maybe the cannon would come in handy for this one, but... For the sake of showing you how to do things normally, I, I'm going to um, take you through it the normal platforming way. Uh, just another tutorial on the wing cap, I suppose. Just another copy pasta. Oh wait, what's in here? Probably coins. I don't know, it's a one-up. I guess that's in case you fall in the sand many, many times over. Any of the moving sand is basically insta-death out here, so... Be careful of that. Uh, oh no you don't. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta be careful of them. Oh geez. That was riskier than it needed to be. This is why you wanna... I mean this is why I would prefer the wing cap in all honesty. Because the platform it's pretty tricky. <laughs> but it's not impossible as you can tell. Just gotta have a decent sense of control. And there's the star. Nice view too. Um, one more star. <laughs> inside the ancient pyramid. So, yeah, we gotta go inside the pyramid, obviously. Uh, I'm going to shortcut my way across there this time. A different way, because I like to show different ways of getting through the level in general. Whee! This time I'm going to go to this side, and over here is the cannon that I unlocked in the first star. Nope, oh, there we go. And what I'm going to do here is shoot myself over to this side, if you don't mind. Whee! Yep, wing cap. 
definitely gives you quite the ample amount of shortcuts in this level. Man, I'm gonna have to get stuck in the sand, aren't I? Yup. Because I've grown pounded. That's fine. Be careful of these boxes, by the way, if you're going for the 100 coin star. You gotta really pick and choose your battles with them strategically, and beware of these uh, twisters of sorts. They can fling you around, but anyway, they aren't that hard to control. Alright, we're inside the Ancient Pyramid, just as it said. Uh, this quicksand isn't really all that quick. It's different than the uh, regular quicksand, so I'll show you what that's like. You you gradually sink down like this, and then Mario's like, Oh, help! Help! Press the jump button! And yeah, you can get yourself out with the, the jump button like so. Alright, so now my objective here, I believe, is to get over to the very top of the pyramid. And to do so, we got to navigate the mummified thwomps. I forgot their names offhand. Mm, what's the sign say? Uh, oh, that's a hint to uh, another future star. Anyway, you just got to use the pathways around to get yourself up there. It's kind of hard. I mean, you can wall jump your way up there, but it's kind of hard to do so with the quicksand of death combined with thwomps and all the other obstacles. So, yeah. You just might want to use the stairs, so to speak. Mm, another example of grabbing a flying bird. <laughs> mm, nope. Uh, don't squish me. <laughs> I'm just running my way through everything. I should say rushing my way through everything. There we go, we're making it. Over here we got a slippery slope, but it's not hard to get past at all because you have the fence up above you. But if you ever let go, you're gonna fall in that quicksand. You're gonna have to start climbing this again. And I, I don't think you wanna do that because this is pretty sluggish. <laughs> there we go. More stairs, we're getting close. Very, uh oh. Gotta go inside this alcove. Well, you can jump over it, but it's safer to go inside this alcove and just wait it out. Guess, th guess that's paving the roads or something like that in ancient times. And this is here in case you need it for whatever reason. Moving stairs? Moving stairs? What is this blasphemy? How does this even work? There's no mechanics that I can see whatsoever. Still getting close. Yeah, it's really easy to do those uh, thin platforms and you've got a wall next to you and you don't have to worry about falling like that. Uh, wait, which... Is it this way or is it the other... The other... Yeah, it's the other way, okay. There's a couple of pathways through this pyramid, but only one is uh, the uh, way that I want to go right now and I'm trying to remember which way it is and I think this is it. This is the star right here. So, I guess we're about to see if I collected the right one. I think it is. Yes, it is. Woo! And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part. In before someone mentions I have 69 stars. <laughs>